Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see here, which I've just finished, just this moment finished, we're making a chicken and mushroom pasta. We've got some tomatoes and garlic in there, a little bit of tarragon herb today. Had lots of emails about making kind of some quick pasta dishes. This is one of them. It's not going to take that long. Tastes great. Let's go and do it. Okay, so let's get started here. I've got my pan on, nice and warm, it's getting nice and hot. I'm using some olive oil. You don't have to use olive oil, but olive oil is good for this. Go for another oil if you like. We're gonna start off by dropping in a little bit of garlic. Now I've got my garlic kind of chunky cut, just because I just like it like that. And then I'm gonna drop in my onions. I'm using a red onion, but you can use any type of onion you want, a white or a brown. going with some black pepper some salt and then today I'm going to be using some dried tarragon which I think gives a lovely flavour you could go for something else oregano basil or one of those kind of mixed Italian selections of spices yeah, tarragons, really, I love tarragons, they've got a really, really, really fantastic flavour. And I think a little bit like sage is pretty much underused. There we go, that's good. Now I'm going to go in with my chicken. Now my chicken, as you can see right here, um, is fresh chicken with no skin and no bone. And I've cut it into kind of nice thin strips. Very simply, we're going to throw this around in the pan, let it go for about three to four minutes, giving it a stir every now and then. Okay, so that's like three minutes. Now, don't worry if you think that your chicken is not cooked. This is probably not cooked all the way through. It will cook. No problem with what we're about to do. I am now going to add some mushrooms. Now I've got a regular, these are a chestnut mushroom actually, they're not quite white, but you can use any type of fresh mushroom that you want. I've sliced them, you don't have to slice them, you can chop them into small pieces if you prefer. And again, on this kind of medium to high heat, let's just get this all mixed together now. What we should get, depending on the type of mushrooms that you use, you usually get a bit of moisture from a mushroom, you know, when you cook it. So it might release a bit of moisture there. But we're going to come back again in a, in, a, in a few minutes, just like literally two or three more minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. There we are. Now, I didn't get a lot of moisture from my mushrooms at all, really. Now at this stage, very simply, I've got here a can or a tin of tomatoes, plum tomatoes, that I've roughly chopped, and they're going to go in. Let me give this a little mix. Now you could put a little splash of red or white wine in here if you wanted. I'm not doing that today, I'm keeping it really basic and simple. You could also add some tomato puree or paste if you want it to thicken up a little bit. Again, for me, no need. And what we're going to do now, I'm going to lower the heat just a little bit. I'm going to let that go for about sort of six to seven minutes. Again, give it a little stir every now and then. There we are six or seven minutes and that sauce has come together really well I mean with a pasta sauce or a tomato sauce that you're using for pasta you usually cook it for much much longer but we are making a kind of quick easy pasta today you want to check that out for some salt and pepper I'm now going to add a little bit of grated parmesan there just a little bit and then I'm going to throw in my 
pasta. Pasta is, is your choice. I'm using a little fusilli today. And with the heat on, I'm just going to throw that around in the pan. Just so we get a nice cover of the sauce onto the pasta. And there we go. We've got a really nice little quick chicken and mushroom pasta. Off goes the heat. And that's it guys. Hope that's answered a few emails. I'll be doing a few more of these kind of quick-ish pasta dishes that you guys have been asking for. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon. Lots of love.